My name is Larry Walsh. I am an Applications Engineer at Yokogawa Corporation of America. Have you ever wondered why and how different type of gases can be detected using a laser? Well, gases can be detected using a laser because the properties of gases are such that they absorb different wavelengths of light. If you shine a broad spectrum of light through a gas, not all wavelengths of light get through very specific wavelengths get absorbed by the gas and the remaining passes through. By using an optical spectrum analyzer we can see what wavelengths of light are affected meaning absorbed by the gas. Today I will show you how this is done. For my demonstration I am going to use a Yokogawa AQ6375 long wavelength OSA. Let me show you how this is done. What I am going to do is take a super continuum light source and send it through a gas tube containing the CO2 gas. This I will put into the front of the AQ6375 OSA. I am using a super continuum light source because it is a very bright broadband light source. Next, let's set up the OSA. This is a very important step when looking for absorption points. On this OSA, you can perform an auto sweep, which automatically sets the OSA to the appropriate speed and level based on the input signal. You can then fine tune the settings to your desired application. For this test, I'm going to slow down my sweep by changing the sense mode. Since I need to look at a very small section of the spectrum, I'm going to change the span down to five nanometers. Notice you can now see the absorption points. These absorption points can now be compared to known absorption points for specific gases. Different applications require different scales on the OSA. You can display the results in nanometers, terahertz, or wave number. To get the exact reading of the absorption points, we can also use the peak search, bottom search functions. These absorption points can then be used to determine the type of gas that the light was sent through. There are some very practical uses for this technology, some of which are testing smokestacks, pollution from automobiles, generators, and many other devices that produce gases. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact any of our application engineers or visit us at tmi.yokogawa.com.